Okay. Um, oh. So. Okay. Now you can. This I think is from my channel. This is from my channel about two weeks ago when I covered this story. So I'm just this. I'm just gonna play a little short highlighted part, uh, just to give you guys a recap of of him. I just don't. Wow. You're, you're, I even say, oh, I could, damn. I could, oh, I could stop sharing that. Yeah, I said even in that last video, in that video there, that I felt the female he was texting with, she should have been charged too. Yeah, because she, she didn't even tell the authorities and what. Mm -hmm. Um, you you missed um some of the texts that they shared. She said to him, "I thought we was gonna be in a real relationship." But she's still here. What the hell does she mean by that? And then he said to mm. her, don't worry, tomorrow this ish is done. I'm, I'm going to take care of it. So I, I, I personally feel like she should have been charged before not reporting it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But, um, That's crazy. Let me see if mm -hmm. I can. So, did it? Oh, it did. Okay. All right. Give me one second. I, this did, I wasn't mother sure. Had her if... You want it up? Or no. Um. Yeah. You that? Okay. What y'all about to hear next is that um, once he got arrested and charged for what he did to his his girlfriend, one of the jurors from his old trial came out and spoke saying that they didn't believe he was innocent in that trial but they still found him not guilty because the facts of what they were supposed to be focused on wasn't the murder it was um premeditated if he did it premeditated if he was if it was done premeditated but uh, just you could pull it up. Um, uh, you guys will get a better gist of life. You could drop it now. Um, sh sh um, she wrote, mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Talk about passing the buck, right? <laughs> wow, that is so crazy. You know, I've seen that on your um channel. Mm -hmm. Damn. They should charge that girl. And now his lawyer, that other one you see down there, that's his lawyer, Jamie King. But we have no guarantees. He went to court and asked the judge. He's in court asking the judge for a gag order. He don't want the prosecutors, the court clerks, the police, the detectives that's helping the prosecution um continue like during the trial he don't want none of the information that's going on about the trial to get out to social media he wants the judge to order a gag order mm. you could you could play it now shiro i'm sorry okay i got you going to allow the jury to hear but what we have here is information flowing freely from the state attorney's office to the press he feels it's not community. going to help his client because yeah. it's such a high some of which is highly profile case. some of which is highly inaccurate so i'll give you an example the press has reported that the age of the child inside the car was 18 months or 23 months so we don't have consistent reporting even on something as simple as the age of the child in the car we have police speculating on motive saying that mr adams motive here was because he didn't want to be a father and he had other romantic interests going on. There is no evidence to support that statement by the police to the press at a press conference, which makes its way to the public. Understanding the state doesn't have to prove motive, but that is gossip. So what you have here are the police authorities spreading gossip about motive that is not established in this case. And what that creates in the minds of the jurors is a permanent impression until that threat dissipates. And we're not able to control it. So what we're asking this court to do is to exercise
its wow. inherent power to elevate first Sixth Amendment rights to a fair trial over First Amendment rights to the press to any disclosure that may exist between the state and the defense. And what we have in Florida Freedom Newspapers versus McCrary is that exact point. DCA determined that anything short of a protective order silencing the parties, none of these measures would be sufficient to overcome the volume of information subject to dissemination by the respondents and the probable effect of dissemination upon the minds of the public. And what happens is every time, let's say the court denies our motion, every time we have the state of Florida disclosing something to defense under the Freedom of Information Act under Chapter 119, if we engage in discovery and the state discloses something to the defense, the press has a right under Chapter 119 to get that information and do whatever they want with it. That's the First Amendment right they have. You know what? If Michelle, happens, I'm not sure. He just said he's his, he's uh, Billy Adams' attorney, if that happens, his lawyer, well, lawyer for the defense. The so you know what? He might be a public defender. To fade. As we all know, because he didn't say today, what uh, his firm he represents. But if that is constantly turning over back and forth, back and forth with information, and the press is constantly sending this information out, keeping up with the progress of the case. We file a motion to suppress. The court gets the press gets a hold of it. We file a motion to eliminate. We a motion to eliminate. We take a deposition and we move based on the, the contents of that deposition for some relief by the court. I thought the same thing, Michelle. What Constant difference does it make about the child's age? But you know, it away. clearly does because the judge going to ask about it too. Each dissemination, hoping to dissipate the threat of the public, of a prejudice, so as not to adversely affect his right to a fair trial. Because of the unusual nature of this case, because of the, the swiftness with which he was arrested following an acquittal on double homicide, people have taken a great interest in this case. <clears throat> the first case has nothing to do with the second one, except in terms of timing. And so what we're asking this court to do is to do what is necessary to temporarily minimize the threat of prejudice to his Sixth Amendment rights, grant the motion, In order that each party, whether the clerk's office, state attorney's office, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, Tampa Police Department, make no statements to third parties, the press, and to order the clerk not to disseminate or publish any information exchanged between the state and the defense. Okay, I have a couple of questions. Yes, ma'am. Let me make sure I understand this. So your main concern is with the accuracy of mainstream media? No. Uh, the main concern is the effect that that is having on the minds of the public who eventually will be jurors in this case. Well, you gave the example of how old the unborn child was. Right. Part of, the, part of that is that in addition to the facts which may not be in dispute here, the accuracy of the information is also a concern because we don't control what the press says. We don't control Nobody how it's reported. Does. Right. So when inaccurate information is taken from otherwise accurate reporting, that compounds the potential for prejudice. Meaning that if, if accurate information is one thing, that's fine. We also don't want any information going out about this case. But the threat of prejudice is increased dramatically when that information is not accurate. So one of the ways we control and prohibit and avoid inaccurate information is to make sure no information gets out. Man, 
didn't stop. That's all he care about. That's all he care about. You you could drop it. Um, he uh, is only. All he care about is the gag order because he don't want people talking about yeah. the case because it literally what the first your first thought is wait did they just say he got really he just got uh beat uh double murder and he's back in court three days later you, mm -hmm. you know what yep. I'm saying. Yep, they don't want to look stupid because he never made a point. He even when she asked him, he never made a point. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And, and I, I feel like that and I was think... premeditated. Go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say I think that that girl should be charged as well. Yeah, yeah. In the text message, I mean... you see her say to him. I thought we was going to be in a relationship, no, be a couple, but I, but she's mm -hmm. still here. And he said, don't worry, tomorrow this ish is done. And, she, and that's when she right. said, that this ain't the way, way, baby. But um, on the news thing, they didn't tell you what she said before right. that. At the end of the day, she knew what he was going to do. I think she was trying to like put it in his head. Mm -hmm. Like the only way I'm going to be with you is if you don't have no baby on the way. Mm -hmm. I'm not being with you if you got a baby coming. And then baby. she tried to cover herself. Yeah, right. When he said right. that, he, she know they in text. So if he get caught up, she want, to, she want them to see her saying, that ain't the way, babe. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, girl, we see right. you. We see mm -hmm. you. Because why you right. ain't reporting? Yeah. Why didn't you report it? If you really cared, yeah. you would have called 911. Like, I think he's going to do something, and I don't want her to get hurt, mm -hmm. you know, or I don't want my name involved or something like that. If you really cared about the girl. Wow. Mm -hmm. That That's is crazy. Crazy. Like, my yeah. thing is if you don't want a baby, use protection. She's right. not, she didn't get herself pregnant, dude. You know what I'm saying? And then you right. clearly been telling her one right. thing. And telling this chick on the phone and the text message is something different because you telling her, babe, we're going to celebrate um, my, my freedom. So she thinks she in a relationship exactly. with Exactly. It. it don't sound like she had a clue. Right. Because somebody she, who on their way out. going to celebrate with her man. Right. That don't sound like somebody who mm -hmm. knows that you don't want her. That I'm you sorry. don't want her. Right. You know, we see a lot of that mm. on what is that on that I, on the ID. I watch a lot of that ID, and I see yeah. cases like that all the time. I like if you don't time. want her, if you didn't want the baby, it's a way to just leave her alone and sign over your rights to the kid and move on with your life. Yep. You don't have to take her out, you know, of this world to do that. Like I just you don't, don't get that. You don't. I don't understand that. I really think he was cocky. Because he got, oh, let me back up. So the two friends so she got, did go she with got. him to the studio. He tried to say that they um oh. was whispered in his ear because the uh the 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 owner of the studio was there. He was right there doing the music. So he didn't pay, he wasn't paying attention to what was going okay. on over here, but mm -hmm. he was in the same room. He said when he looked up. Billy um, had the gun in his hand already, and the two guys was already on the floor. Billy told him they whispered in his ear about to rob him. He didn't. The, the owner didn't hear them say mm -hmm. it or nothing like that. That's what Billy said. Wow. They whispered in his ear and told him they're about wow. to rob him. But they his friends, and they came to the studio with him. I really think I that he was said. cocky. He got away with it. Yeah. Literally got away with taking somebody out double. Right. And then thought he was so cocky that he's gonna take out his own girlfriend who's pregnant, six months pregnant with his baby. Mm -hmm. With her own with her own baby in the back seat of the car. I can't believe he did that. I cannot believe he, he did. knew she was coming. Mm -hmm. He did it. He knew she was coming. I, I just can't even imagine like what's going through a person's head. That's going to do something like that. No, she bringing mm -hmm. her baby. She's six months pregnant with carrying your kid. Just the girl. How did he get caught though? Um, surveillance. The camera. 
the cam okay the cameras in her complex uh -huh. caught the license plate of the car and ran the license plate it was his father's car he was driving big dummy he is so dumb for even you know but what she tried to act like he didn't even know her right first he told them he don't know her nothing it's not mm -hmm. until they hit him with the text messages with that between him and the girl that and then the car like well your car is leaving at this time on your, where you live at and then we see the same car same license plate we checked the license plate it was his father's car so he had to tell him okay okay yeah. okay y'all got me i, I knew her. i knew her. i knew yeah. her. I hope they give him the business in prison. Mm -hmm. I really do. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just could see the cockiness on his face. Like, so he doesn't like, look, uh, you know, mm -hmm. like when he got away with it, when they found him not um, not guilty and everything. Like, like, I knew it. Yeah. Oh, and let me tell y'all the, the suit and the glasses, that was a ploy. Yeah. He was told to do that. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was not going to work for him this time. Because right. this time they got him caught red hand, little red handed. His lawyer's like, I want you to look sophisticated and smart. Put on a pair of glasses. Well, he is a, he is smart. He got a, a right. master's degree. He went to college. No, I'm the talking university about university at that. Mm hmm. I'm talking about the look. <laughs> they do tell you to do that. What a they, disappointment they to you. his parents. Mm hmm. Yep. They will tell you what to wear. For real. Right. Huh. I agree. He probably felt mm -hmm. invincible mm -hmm. after the acquittal. Yeah, and, and that's and that's the, that's what you get. The whole smug look on his face, like, yeah, I beat that. I got away with that. Yeah, yeah, babe. Yeah, get dressed. We going to celebrate. And the whole time, you know, he already know what he going to do to her. I think he probably knew when he was sitting in jail because she was six months pregnant already. So he already knew he had a baby coming. Yeah, and he had bail, so he was going through trial through um, bail. The judge denied his bail this time, though. This time around, he gonna go to trial from court. I mean, from the jail. Uh, did I miss the motive for the first killings? Um, he never had one. He told them that that they tried to rob him. That's interesting. Yeah, but they don't have no evidence. Mm -hmm. The owner of who was right there in the studio, he said he didn't hear them say nothing. But he told them the guy whispered it in his ear. One of the one of the friends whispered it in his ear. Told him run his pockets. But they didn't have no pow pals on them. He's the only one that had one. Wow. Well, hey, Miss V. Wow. Look at Miss V yeah. in the building. Who's hey, Miss V. She right there. Let me know, Miss V, when uh, what time that you're is ready? Crazy, y'all. I can go on ahead and jump nah. on down. I know y'all been, y'all got other people. No, finish your own. Oh, you can stay on panel. I just wanted well, to bring please. that finish, update finish because I was gonna bring it on my channel, but.